Hi, my Yarny friends. My name is Crystal, and you would have just seen a little clip of a gigantic box that I am going to open. Um, if I watched Bag of Day Crochet a while ago, and she had opened a mystery box of yarn from Kramer Yarns. And I loved it, and I was super excited, and I watched Rose at Rose Likes Crochet open one, and I've seen other people mention that they got one, and so they're really hard to get because they sell out quickly because I don't have them very often, and it's such a good deal. So they have 10-pound mystery boxes or 20, and the 20 was all sold out. I'm mean, not the 20, the 10 was all sold out. So I had to get the 20 pound one and it's gigantic. <laughs> and so, um, I am flushing really bad guys. I'm going to squirrel for just a moment. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm just dying to do this because I have to know what's in this box. Um, so the, I think the lights oh, camouflaging it a little bit. So, <laughs> What's a girl to do? So back to this 20 pound box of yarn. It was $70 plus shipping. I was cleaning up my email and I wiped out my, uh, <laughs> my order. So I don't, I think I paid $25 in shipping. So that's what I'm going to go off of that. I paid $25 in shipping. So I did some math. Because I'm a numbers girl. Oh, I wanted to show you something. Darn it. Okay, I'll edit this. Hold on. Okay, so I wanted to grab some yarn so we could do a little comparison before I open this, this box up. So, um, I got 20 pounds of yarn. So this is 320 ounces or 9,070 ounces almost 72 grams of yarn. So that equals almost, um, well, equals 91.42 skeins of 100 gram skeins of yarn that are 3.25 ounces, because this is what we're familiar with, right? So the, it's like getting 91 of these, and that would cost a dollar for each one. So it's like getting it at the Dollar Tree. Or, for a different comparison, maybe you're used to getting this skein of yarn. And this skein right here is um, 200 grams or 7 ounces. So it's like getting almost 46 of these skeins of yarn for two dollars and eight cents so that's what this that's what sh shipping and everything so this mystery box that's helps you equate like here's another um this is a 3.5 ounce or 100 grams of yarn so it's like getting this for a buck so let but this is um i think some wools and maybe acrylic and a cotton I'm not sure, but if you saw the box on it, it says raw white wool. <laughs> so hopefully they just utilize that box and because I got scared when I saw that. I don't want a 20 pound box of just raw white wool. Now I looked on their website and it does say an assortment of yarn from their company. And I'm going to pop that up right here where it shows, and it says that it's an assortment. <laughs> so I don't mind getting some, but I don't want 20 pounds because I have yarn to dye and I have the dyes and all that. I bought, you know, pots and different stuff. I even bought a little burner so we could do it in the garage because I don't, I'm so sick. I don't want anywhere in my kitchen. I know some people do, but it's not really good to do because um, they're not, you know, and I'm just too sick to take any chances. So let's open this up, guys. Let's open this up. <laughs> I am so nervous. And it's so big, I can't pick it up. I wish I knew how to show you how big this thing is. <laughs> and no, I did not pick it up. 
I actually pushed it all the way in here. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. It's not 20 pounds <laughs> of raw yarn. Raw, what did it say? Raw white wool. <laughs> Oh, my face is flushing so bad. It's like it's burning off here. Um, so let's see. I'm so excited. <laughs> so my first yarn. So I got, this is my first yarn. So this, oh, should I get a scale? Ah, oh, you can see how bad my, so I'm going to get a scale. Hold on, guys. Okay. I just thought it might be fun to weigh it. If you ever want to weigh your yarn you want a food scale because it can go into grams or ounces and it can go into just one gram one ounce so it's the perfect thing to use so uh, my first yarn is this oh my gosh would that be perfect for a guy it's beautiful it's it's i'm pretty sure it has wool in it it feels a little scratchy this skein right here is three and three fourths ounces so it is like one of these and i got a total of one two three four five of them isn't that cool that's like enough to make a good project and let me weigh another one this one is almost four ounces I don't know which one's the first one I weighed. <laughs> this one's almost four ounces. I'm super duper excited. I love that one. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, I wanted one of these so bad. Okay. Oh my gosh. I see other pretties. Oh, there's this on top of it. There was no red tissue. You know, like you see the red tissue. There wasn't that. Oh, these guys actually have a wrapper on it, and it is homespun, and I love homespun yarn. Oh, my goodness. This says it's a chunky. It is 98% acrylic, 2% polyester. This is 4 ounces, 120 yards. And I got two of them. And it's like a Christmassy green. I love it. I love it. So I got these for a buck, guys. Because three, it's a little over four ounces, but basically a dollar. Oh, I love that green. It's like a Christmassy green. I love it. Okay. This, what's next is this. And I got three of this. It has sparkly in it. It's an off-white. Um, I think that it has wool in it. It feels wooly. I don't know if that's maybe the sparkly in it might make it feel kind of rough. Let's see how much this guy weighs. Oh, no. My thing goes off. <laughs> it is 2.5. Five eighths ounces. Let's see this other one. They're all that. That's the weight for all. all. Well, the other one was two and three eighths. So I got three of those. I really like it. Oh, this is <laughs> I love this box. I feel like a kid at Christmas time. <laughs> oh my gosh. My next one is this. It's really thick. I would say this is um, a five or a six. Mm, may, I think it's probably a five. You know what? I have a five right here. Ooh, my face. You know what? It's probably a six. Because this one's a five. Oh, no. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger than the five. So I got three of these. And it feels wooly to me. I think it has wool in it. And it is almost five ounces. But the other ones are smaller. I wonder if I could just put the whole thing on there. Let's see. I got 12 ounces of this. I need to get one of those things 
that you, um, darn it, I don't know what it's called. And it's a way for you, it looks like a T almost, and it's, it's a way for you to measure your yarn and actually hank it up in a hank as opposed to a skein. I'm, I've wanted to get one of those because I want to spin more yarn. So, my next yarn, oh my goodness guys, this is going to have to be doubled or tripled up. But it's gorgeous. My next one is this. This is a fingering. It is teeny, teeny, teeny. <gasps> but it is gorgeous. Look at that. But there, I'm not a big fan, though, of this. I'm not a fan of that at all. Hmm. But it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. And they are almost three ounces. Yep, they're two and seven eighths of an ounce. So this one I'm not a huge fan of. Love the color, but I just don't like um, a halo at all. I'm not a big fan of a halo. Oh, this looks like cotton yarn. Wow. So my next yarn is this, and I'm pretty sure it's cotton. It's a cream color. It's not as soft as I love this cotton, but it's softer than and feels like a way better quality than like, um, uh, what's the one we know of? I'm drawing a blank, guys. I'm drawing a blank. Shoot. Sugar and cream. Lily and cream. <laughs> it's softer than that. But not as, but it feels and looks beautiful. I mean, it looks beautiful. It feels nice. Um, but it it's like a high quality cotton. And I got this many. So I got six. And they weigh, there's something on this one. They weigh... Five, I mean, three and five eighths ounces. Ah, oh my goodness. I really like that cotton. This is the never ending box, guys. So, my next yarn is. I'm going to run out of room. Let me put the scissors up. Okay. Is this. Now, this is homespun. But this is smaller than the typical homespun type yarn. It's it's a bit thinner. It's pink, of course, as you can see. It's super soft. I love homespun yarn. It's so soft. And I got one, two, three, four, five of these. Ta-da! And it weighs... Got to zero that out. It weighs almost three ounces. My, my scale's being weird on me. Actually, it weighs three and a fourth ounces. Nice! So far, I'm got, getting such a huge variety. I'm so excited. My next yarn is this. This one has a crazy, crazy halo. There's two of them. Darn it. I'm not a big fan of that. And these are three and five eighths ounces. It's beautiful. It's really stunning yarn. But... Yeah, I'm not sure I would keep that one. My next one is... Oh my goodness, I'm running out of room. Is this one. 
Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I really, really like it a lot. I don't... If I had to guess, I don't think there's wool in it. And I got four of these. And they vary in sizes. And I'm kind of running out of room, so I can't weigh them all. I really like that. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, my next one, my daughter-in-law is going to love. I'm going to have to move my scale. I don't want to set stuff on it. I got six of this, and this is a cotton. Look at that color. Isn't that pretty? It's almost true to color. It's just not as bright. It's a little bit darker. Definitely a cotton. It's a very, very pretty. Wowzers. So, a dollar, basically. Well, it's lucky I love homespun because I got more. I got six more. I got this pretty blue. I got pink and blue, a boy and a girl. <laughs> I love that. Look at, woo, look at that. <laughs> nice. So it's not all wool. The next one I got, man, this is massive amount. The next one I got is this. Now, this is definitely wool, and it's a bit rough. So, it's a bit scratchy. And I got five. Yeah. It's not, like, crazy scratchy. But, yeah, it's not super soft. Alrighty. The next item I got is more cotton. I got this beautiful blue. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Look at that. <laughs> I love this cotton. I can't wait to work it up. I'm getting a lot of cotton. I love the cotton. I love the homespun. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. I'm not a fan of the these guys. So I'm not done. I got a whole bunch of wool that's not dyed I and I can't it's hard to tell let me see I got one two three four five six seven I got eight of them. <laughs> so eight hanks of undyed wool that isn't a crazy soft. It's kind of a scratchy. What do you got? What do people do with that? There's no way I'd ever wear that. I do have some, I guess you can't see it. Yeah, it's hiding. Some wool that this wool that I use to practice. Well, I dyed with Kool-Aid. I was able to do that in the kitchen with my designated dyeing pan. Um, but that's pretty scratchy. But you know what I was going to do with one of the hanks that I dyed? I'm going to make a Mr. Purrs a lot with it. Shocking, I know. <laughs> Wowzer. I got a lot of this one. So this is my next one. It definitely has wool in it. I don't know if it has linen or if it's just the wool I'm filling. But I got, let's see, I got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty,
I got 12 of those, but I'm not going to take them all out. 12 of those. I guess if you are a wool fan, then this is the box for you. Some of this wool isn't soft. Hmm. The next one I got is this. This is my last one, actually. So it is... It is like this guy right here, but in a different colorway. I can't tell. If it has wool in it, it's, it's soft for having wool in it. And it's very pretty. I really like it. I got... I got ten of these. I don't know. These almost look like two different colors. They may not be on the same dye lot. Because they're not quite the same color. So, wowzers. That's a lot of yarn. That's a crazy amount of yarn. <laughs> I'm like, oh, am I recording? <laughs> oh my goodness. So, what's my thought on this? I really, really like their homespun. I like their cotton. I like their, um, like this, the these ones. I'm not a fan of the ones with a halo. I don't know if maybe I'll put those on my Etsy shop or something. And these guys, I'm not a big fan of. They're, they're pretty scratchy. I don't know what people do with that. That's a lot of skeins of kind of scratchy yarn. I guess if you felted stuff, like if you wanted to crochet a purse and felt it, that would be perfect. Like if you wanted to dye it, crochet it, then felt it, that would be the perfect yarn for that. But um, yeah, that's a little bit too much for me. <laughs> so I probably won't ever get this again. I was really excited. I wanted to know. My goal would be someday putting maybe this on my Etsy shop and um, um, these on my Etsy shop and this on my Etsy shop. Just because I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. I know some people really like it, but not this girl. So that's it for now. I better get going. I just was dying. I just needed to know <laughs> what was in that box. <laughs> Have any of you guys ever got in a, got, bought a box from Kramer Yarns? Um, I, get, I think a 10 pound would be best because this is a crazy amount of yarn. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a good night. I hope you're having a good week. Um, I love you guys and I will talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, I just decided real quick that I wanted to do a giveaway. I wanted to give away to two different winners. I'm sorry, but this is going to have to be U.S. only. I'm going to give away one person will get, each person will get two hanks of this yarn. And I will go to the store and buy um, some Kool-Aid. I'll probably put in maybe three packs in each bag. So I have, so this time around, it'll be two winners. And I have two others for a different hidden giveaway at a different time. I really, really enjoyed dyeing yarn with Kool-Aid. Um, but there's only so much of this rougher type of yarn that I can um, I can have because I have some more of it. Um, but it would be really, really cute for amigurami or for a purse or something felted. So uh, if you're interested, um, hmm, put the word Kool-Aid, K-O-O-L-A-I-D, in your comment and I will filter for that. It is gonna start, I don't know the date. Oh, too many crickets, hold on guys. <laughs> um, I'm gonna post this tomorrow, so 
it's going to start March 10th um, from whenever I post it, and it will end on March 15th. I will draw um, at that the March 15th up until the evening time, um, until midnight. It will close, and then I'll pull two winners. This will be only open for the U.S. I'm sorry, guys. Shipping is just so expensive. And my last winner was from Canada, which is exciting. And I just can't do two of them. So it'll. this is for the U.S. only. Um, just put in the comment somewhere, Kool-Aid. And um, there'll be a whole two winners. And the Kool-Aid will be a surprise. And it's a lot of fun. And there's fun tutorials on it. I had a blast. And then... If you win it, if, you, if you're interested, if you're not allergic to wool, if you win it and you dye it, I would love to see it. If you had posted on my Facebook group, I would really love it if, if you can. If you don't have Facebook, email me it. And if you can't, that's okay. I understand. But, um, oh my goodness. And I'm going to start to do hidden giveaways here and there. Um, when I reach 3,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away one of my husband's hook holders. But that'll be hidden, and it'll be sometime after 3,000, and nobody will know when it's going to happen. <laughs> so, but I don't know if that's going to be U.S. only or not. I'll have to see what it is to ship to Canada or something. So, um, this is, so only open to U.S. You have to be 18 years or older, older. I ask that you subscribe to my channel. All the rules will be listed in this description box below. And if you are the winner, you're only going to have one week to, to email me. And if I don't hear back, then I will draw somebody else. So I think that's it, guys. I can't think of anything else. I hope I remembered everything. And I think these other, these, well, I know these other two will be a hidden giveaway sometime. And I have some other stuff that I will do a hidden giveaway. And then, um, yeah, yep. So that's it for now. I just thought, you know what? I'll just give it away because it was fun. I really, really enjoyed it. So that's it. I hope. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye.